Hi all, in this video we will see how SQL transformation works in Informatica. So the purpose of SQL transformation is to process the SQL queries in the midstream of your pipeline. Here the SQL queries are nothing but the SQL scripts, nothing but the, our SQL files as well as the direct queries. We can perform all kind of uh, SQL operations like DML, DDL, all operations at runtime. We can process external scripts. Uh, as well as uh, normal uh, our SQL queries in, in the SQL editor of this transformation and uh, for this we can pass our database connection at runtime uh, nothing but we can create a dynamic as well as static database connection uh, for this SQL transformation here uh, we have few set of SQL statements that we can use the DDL statements uh, create alter draft truncate rename as well as DML insert update uh, delete match and data retrieval statements our select statement and grant revoke data control languages and transactional control statements commit rollback we can use all these kind of statements uh, in SQL transformation and coming to this configuration of uh, SQL transformation so uh, we have two things uh, I mean before creating this transformation uh, we have few uh, properties one is a mode uh, nothing but whatever the SQL transformation that we are taking is represent the mode is that a script or query here uh, query represents in this mode we pass a query and having its a parameters or variables whatever it may be and coming to the script mode uh, in this mode we pass the name of the script as an input to the transformation these are the two modes uh, we have in this and transformation type uh, in general SQL transformation is an active transformation because uh, with respect to the input rows whatever the SQL logic that we implemented in the SQL transformation the output rows vary so that's why SQL transformation is an active transformation but always we can configure it as a passive transformation and coming to this database type it allows it allows both uh, SQL, Oracle and uh, all other DB to all other databases so here I will show you uh, the SQL transformation and its properties going to the transformation in the designer create SQL underscore SQL test so this is a query mode the query mode represents that input is a query or any other DDL DMS statement script mode contains the SQL file and the database type here we have plenty of databases sysbase, cbase, uh, db2, in infomix, uh, sql server, teradata and the connection type uh, we can use static database connection as well as data dynamic database connection this dynamic database connection will change uh, for each and every input row the static connection will remain same until the transformation completes so these are the uh, different uh, properties that we have and uh, types of SQL queries and here uh, whatever the SQL queries that we are using in the SQL transformation so here if you if you open this uh, transformation in SQL settings SQL ports uh, we have a uh, editor SQL query editor they, where, there we can uh, give our uh, required user defined input query based on the query that we are giving here the query types are two types in SQL transformation one is static and another one is dynamic so here this static query nothing but whatever the statement that we are using it does not change uh, but here we can pass few input parameters uh, based on the parameter that we gave integration service run the query once and runs the same query for all the input rows and coming to the dynamic SQL query so here the statement and the data can be changed for each and every input row and the integration service prepares the query for each and in every input row and it runs so this is the difference uh, nothing but integration service prepares query uh, multiple times for each and every row in the dynamic uh, queries and coming to the static integration service creates a query one time and run the query uh, for each and every input row this is a small difference 
uh, we will show a few sample examples let's take uh, input data here i have input data nothing but i have two tables product as well as uh, another uh, some other product table in the product table i have only product ids that is 100 101 102 and coming to that uh, products table uh, here we have product id product name and price table here my requirement is to whatever the ids that we have in uh, source table uh, i need those names and uh, prices from the product uh, main table this is a product actual table and this is a product sales table from product sales table i need the uh, price for each and every product so i the required output should be these three for the input product ids in the product sale so this is the table that i need so for this uh, i will take sql transformation where the source is product sales table which which contains 100 101 102 and product ids and i will use the lookup table on product actual using this prod table so uh, now we will create a transformation with this uh, details in designer first in, i'm going to the sql editor this is the source database currently i'm using in the source database actually already i have product table with this information uh, i will create a product sales table this is a product sales table from some from product where product id in 100 comma 101 comma 102 i am inserting three product details into product table product sales table so now product sales table is created with one record one column with three records select from product sales So here I have three records in the product table. I have all the product details with the respect to prices. Now uh, I have another target database. New query window where I am taking the target database connection. Here I will take another product sales table. Here already I have one product table. So just I need this schema star into product sales from product. I don't need any record from this table. now it's created product sales table with zero records product sales zero records now using informatica mapping and the workflow i will move the required product sales data to this target database product sales table now i will pull all the sources Sources import from the database, test projects. Uh, we need product sales table. This is the product sales table that I taken in source analyzer, and in the similarly to the targets, I will take product sales table. product sales now i will create a new informatica mapping to 
underscore SQL static SQL from test targets whatever the product sales table I have I'm dragging this to mapping designer now I will create SQL transformation create SQL transformation the name is m underscore SQL underscore tran create so it is a query mode from SQL Server database a static connection then uh, now I am mapping this product in ID to this SQL transformation if I go to this properties so this is the input port and this is the SQL that is the by default output port and another product ID is the output port so based on our requirement we can add multiple uh, output ports So here uh, to add SQL ports we need to go to this SQL port tab. So in general uh, based on our requirement we need product ID, product name and unit price. Uh, I will see the scheme of this table. Product sales. Columns integer integer vector okay so now I will add ports to this SQL transformation product ID the name is already exist underscore product underscore ID that it's an integer and I will add another column with name, product name with the VR care. Name uh, 10 would be enough. I will increase to 15 and I will add another column that is price output underscore price it is also I will take it as integer oh. integer so I have added all output columns here now I will write SQL overhead query select product id I will copy this query from here product id product name unit price where product id equal to so here the syntax is to question marks and the input port column name so here these two question marks represent the parameter bending variable which takes uh, this product ID value from the input port now I am using the SQL script in this so this is a product ID I have taken ok and coming to the